Hey, good morning, guys. It's Monday morning. Well, we have another calf, and uh, with one of my cows, I was thinking I was going to have a calf next. That was 33, and she's my probably one of my favorite ones. So I tagged it. Lays out there in the feed lot. She came in here to get feed quick because I just put some down. And uh, she didn't mind me tagging it. So now we have uh, nine, nine calves here this morning. Three there at the door. The new one is way out there just laying out in the field. The cow that had her calf Saturday night is right there. Shrek. Her calf is doing really well. Uh, we did a couple tricks and uh, one of them I called the vet and um, where we were thinking is maybe she had a cat, twins at one point, one died and she absorbed it. Now some of you farmers will know what that means. Um, so he said just put a hose in her, put about five gallon of water in her, hold her uterus in and it should take care of it. Well she's doing fine. No medication and uh, the calf is doing really good. So that's a big plus on the farm. Uh, 33 is down here. She just had a calf and you can see she's eating already. Uh, there's grass hay out in the pasture but I gave him a little grain just to give him some energy. But yep, she just had a calf and uh, she's in here and she kind of bothers her to be in here without her calf. So maybe we could take a minute and walk out there and check for any more. I see another one up along the tree line, our fence line up here. And uh, we're trying to keep all the calves tagged so we don't have any cows and calves mixed up. And what I'm doing now this year is putting the birth date on it. Instead of putting it in a book on the tag number, the mom's number, or her name. Right there her calf is. And he's doing really well. 50, 54, he's dancing around. So, nice bull calf. Yeah, when, and 33 had a nice bull calf this morning. So, by the end of the day, we might have more bull calves than uh, heifers. But that's alright. Uh, we have quite a few replacement heifers already, so... It's always nice to have a little bit extra money, so and bull calves become steers, and steers become beef. So let's go out here and check the pasture quick. So we'll go up here to the newest calf first. I guarantee you, she's looking over her shoulder in the barn. So we have that calf, three there, and one way up there by the fence post. And that's the one we're gonna go check on after this one. So there's our newest bull calf, 55. 33 is the mom. And uh, she'll be out here shortly if I don't get out of here. So a lot of you guys wanted to see what the feedlot looks like. Well, there's nothing in it. I did bring 10 bales out here. And I did spread them all over with a skid loader. And it, it's really nice hay. And it just gives them something to pick through. But there's a couple radishes here and there small ones that didn't make it let's see whose calf this is I think this is a brand new calf too so we have 40 40 more here should calve uh, the rest this month and uh, into the next month a little bit yeah, this is a brand new calf too I wish I would have brought another tag. Yep, he was born this morning too. Let's just see what he is here once. <coughs> A little bull cat. <coughs> He's sounding the alarm mouth. The whole herd's gonna be here. <coughs> Nice bull calf. The barley looks really nice. Nice and thick here, we planted it. You see there's some steer manure we put down first. But yeah. 
week it should grow a little bit more height to it but that's about a perfect stage right there for winter time it'll do really well looks nice too so i want to show that a little bit as far as that calf getting up like that i don't care for that because mom put him a certain place and now he's just out there running around and i'm gonna go get our tag and we'll tag it here so once mom gets back and we know who it is so it's monday morning and it's just a lot of the same stuff i know but it's our lives here on the farm and with calving season it's a new calf so that calf wasn't here yesterday the day before um a lot of things that happened this week so hope you continue to follow us and uh join us on our on our adventures here on the farm have a great morning here's some of the oats real quick here i'm going to add in you can see we just had too much moisture these were spun on and uh about knee high i'd like to just put the cows out here and graze them i don't think it's going to pay to mow them they look nice a little frost burn on them i guess a little bit now all right guys